Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia and if you are new here make sure you hit the subscribe button, join the growing family, turn notifications on way down and give me a thumbs up because it really does help me out. Now today I want to talk about hallucinations. For anyone who doesn't know, hi, I'm Lydia, I have schizoaffective disorder and that means I experience psychotic symptoms when I'm not in a bipolar episode. It's basically schizophrenia meets bipolar. It's a little smash in between. So I don't have schizophrenia and I don't have bipolar. I have schizoaffective disorder, bipolar type. And in short, that causes me to experience psychotic symptoms, which I have on a daily basis. It's not as bad as it used to be because I'm on medication. But if you meet like me, and have nights where you just can't stomach medication and you throw it back up twice like tonight hence why I'm filming a video at 20 past 9 in the evening honestly what I can say from personal experience is it does get easier you just you get used to experiencing these symptoms and Honestly, you just get on with your day. Like, hey, I see a shadow person that ring across my room. Okay, let's move on. Don't get me wrong, hallucinations are still scary and they always will be. The type of hallucinations that I can't stand are tactile hallucinations and I get them every fucking night. Every bloody night I get that one type of hallucination and when I tell you I can't stand it I mean I literally want to stop existing I always feel like bugs are crawling up my arm and oh, even the thought of it sends me into a jerk <laughs> it's terrible like I feel bugs crawling up my arm oh, I've got goosebumps but I feel like spiders are crawling up me I feel like stuff's biting me just no it's such a horrible feeling. When I say it's the worst type of hallucination I experience, it happens every night and I cannot stand it. Honestly though, the visual hallucinations I, I, can, I can live with. I've, I've got very good at determining what's real and what's not with it, so I can kind of desensitise myself from it. I, when I was in hospital last year, I, I started really badly visually hallucinating and I couldn't work out whether it was real or not. It really is something that I deal with a lot and I wish there was an answer that would just stop all of the visual hallucinations, all the tactile hallucinations but the truth is I can't go any higher on my haloperidol dose as I take I take the highest dose so I can't increase that anymore and I really don't want to be looking for a new anti antipsychotic because I've, I've never gelled so well with one as I do with haloperidol so the idea of changing to another antipsychotic really is not something I want to consider. The point of me making this video is I want to let you know that if you experience hallucinations, you're not alone. They do pass and if you are not on medication, maybe consider going on medication for it. Because medication really does help, most of the time. You can react badly to medication as well. I want to give that disclaimer. I've reacted badly to some medications and it's landed me in hospital so I'm not gonna lie to you and say it'll all be fine because it might not be and that's okay too if you do react badly to a medication but you still want to try others there are other medications if it's an antipsychotic there are loads to try so that's worth taking into consideration thank you for watching and if you're new subscribe Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.